It was Memorial Day weekend, and we were just at the house hanging out, and Trevor came up to me holding his head, and he said, my head hurts, and he was absolutely adamant that it was something serious. I said, okay, well, if you have a headache, we'll give you Tylenol and you sit down. We don't go to a hospital for that. And he said, no, I need a doctor now. The doctor came in and their words you never forget. She came in and she said, it's a tumor with a brain bleed. The ambulance is on the way. And I almost thought she walked into the wrong room. We thought our kid was dehydrated. And all of a sudden, right after she had said that, a red light in the corner dinged on and she pointed and said, that means it's here. Please grab your things and we were up and gone. You don't know what to think, it's, it's absolutely surreal. The insides of you are, are kind of tearing apart, like what, he looks fine on the outside, but his internally he's not okay. So what can we do to get him to be fine again? As a parent of a child in the PICU, you have no choice but to be strong and keep going. What's going through our minds is there was issues coming out of the surgery where his right leg could be paralyzed, his right arm, his uh, hand, his eye, you know, things like that. And so I'm more concerned about how he's going to turn out. I know he's going to live, but it's how the outcome is going to be um, once he wakes up. Trevor was in the critical care unit then, and then he was released up to the main floor. It was at that time that the physical therapists were working with him. And one of the physical therapists said to me, um, you need to know he's, he's not gonna walk again. There's no feeling, there's no movement. There's just nothing there. At this time, the swelling would go down enough for us to see some movement if there was gonna be any. And I'm sorry, it's just not there. And she said, more than likely he will not walk again. And I said, okay, thank you for your opinion. I would like to speak to the neurosurgery team. The doctors said, okay, he's medically stable now. Now you go over to Gillette. And it was, it was um, something that was provided to us is this is the next step that's best for Trevor. And then we got settled in. Dr. Gormley came in and did a full evaluation of Trevor, got to know us, asked us some questions. And then he and I stepped out in the hall and um, he just, he kind of shrugged his shoulders and said, yeah, we'll get him to walk. I didn't know him and his credentials at the time, and so I questioned him. I kind of said, okay, and who are you to have that opinion? Because I just heard something else. I said to him, have you been doing this a while? Because I, I didn't know who he was. Now I know that he is the most qualified person to make that decision, but I didn't know at the time. Um, and he was so kind of carefree about it. He just said, yeah, this is what we do. We got settled in, we got comfortable, and magic happened quickly. Mm -hmm. it, it was not, let's work for a couple weeks before we see any results. It was day one. Mm -hmm. um, and they were small results, but it, they were building blocks every day. And every day we came in and we saw more of yeah. our son. You know, every day you get there and there's more progress. Look what, what I can do now, Mom. What, what can this kid can't do right now? We had come in um, to his room. We were waiting for him to come back from a therapy appointment. And he came back with his therapist, Aaron, And she said, he, we have something he wants to show you. He still had his feeding tube in. He wasn't even eating. Um, so we still had so much progress that needed to be done elsewhere. Um, and this was day three. Yes. <laughs> day three of a six week stay. Three days before we had been told he'd never walk. <laughs> and Aaron came in with him. He got up out of the wheelchair and she was right there helping him moving his right foot while he then moved his left, and they were baby steps. Yeah! Oh. 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 Trevor <laughs> Allen! Push up, push up, push up, push up. Yeah. Trevor! And there was a lot of help by Aaron, but there was not a dry eye in the room. We have a long way to go still, and so we have a lot of physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech appointments, and we will for the next year and he hits them hard every week and he still works as hard as he did in the beginning. And it's because we're still seeing that progress. So we'll see him continue to improve over the next year, but even today, it's hard to know when you're looking at him that he has a disability. It is hmm. a slight limp right now. Mm -hmm. There's even sometimes you watch him walk that you can't even see any sort of limp at all. For me, I don't think there's gonna be much of something he can't do. 
Um, he might not be able to type 100 words per minute, but he'll be able to type. He might not be able to write super fast or neat, but he'll be able to write. He might not be able to run a 100 meter dash, but he'll be able to run. He has a new outlook. His options of how he moves forward in life are all up to him now. We made a calendar with all the, with the days he has left. So each day he woke up or finished therapy, he could cross the day off. And so once we got to that day or a couple days before that, I'm like, when we leave here, I want you to yell freedom. What do you say? Freedom. I don't hear you. Freedom. What? Freedom. That's better. Finally. Let's go home. Not only him, but we waited for that, that day to get to us. And we didn't know if it would be there. Right. It was one of the greatest days of my life, that's for sure. <laughs>